Did you know the average American cannot cover a $100 emergency fund? If you fall into that category, I have a great tip to help you get started and to help you stay consistent. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and, I'll be, and you'll be glad that you did. And I'm asking if you will subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, Drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also? And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video? I wanna say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. And I've been letting you all know that my YouTube channel name, this is my YouTube channel and the name now, it is changing. And I'm going to try to get it changed today, which is Sunday, September the 8th. After I film this video, I'm going to sit down and try to get it changed today. I'm going to change it to something that would fit more to what the content I'm putting out now. Okay? The content that I was doing for that, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, so, like I said, the average American cannot cover a $100 emergency fund. And that is because uh, of not putting away money, not saving money. And a lot of times, people are in situations where they're living from paycheck to paycheck, robbing Peter to pay Paul, in a lot of consumer and credit card debt, personal loan debt, student loan debt, what, title loan debt, payday loan debt, whatever. And sometimes they're struggling financially and we don't want to be in that situation. Well, one thing we do need, we need to get half income to be able to meet our needs, our financial meet needs. And we need to sit down and budget our money, make sure we're not wasting any money. Stop shopping all the time. Um, only spend what we need. Live on less than what we make. Like if we, let's just say we made $1,000 a month. We don't want to live on $1,000 or more. We want to live on half of that. So get your finances in order. Get your money in order so you can live on half of your money. They, whatever you bring in, okay? And save and invest the rest, okay? All right, so um, now I have seven savings challenges and today's savings challenge is savings challenge number uh, seven, which I do on Sundays. And all of these savings challenges that I have, they are working with small amounts of money to show you that you can save something. Okay, sometimes you have to take small amounts of money and then you can work your way up. But if we take small amounts of money, every time we get some money, it adds up over time. And we have to be patient, consistent, and disciplined. Constantly added to it, disciplined by not touching it. And today's savings challenge, what you would need is a jar or some kind of container and it is working with change <laughs> now change that is a small amount of money we have change all the time when we break a one dollar bill five dollar bill ten dollar bill twenty dollar bill whatever we end up getting some change and so that's what i've been doing now all the other savings challenges i started them in january 2024 but this one I think I didn't start it till May, I believe. It came to my mind. It was through a comment someone had left me. So I thought, well, let me uh, come up with 
another one with change. Okay, so, and when I started, this was empty. So, look at it now. It's $27 in here, and I've been adding change every Sunday. Now, I think I missed a couple of Sundays. Yeah, a couple of videos I didn't do. But, I've been, and, and I've been taking just random amounts. I haven't been putting in any particular amount. And these savings challenges that I'm doing, they have no time limit, except for the one with the cash stuffing binder, which the goal for that is to save six thousand dollars throughout the year of 2024, and at the end of 2024, what I've been adding to it, and if you've been following along with me and adding to yours, we should have the same amount. We should have six thousand dollars by the end of the year. Okay, all right. And I've been I was in Dollar Tree yesterday getting some more supplies because I'm going to do savings challenges again in 2025 but i'm going to do some different things okay so stay tuned for that and okay i'm not gonna say that okay so like today today's savings challenge is working with change and last sunday after i finished the video adding the change to this one i happened to go in my closet one of my closets and was, i was like i need to throw some of this stuff away so i was going through boxes and came across this one box and it had some things in it. And then at the bottom of the box, there was this purse. And I was like, I haven't seen this purse in a long time in years. I didn't know I still had it. But guess what was in it? This, whoops. <laughs> Oops. The, this, this change here. Can you see that? This was in the bottom of that purse. And I thought, Wow, you know, we have more money than we think we have. We do. So anyway, I, this money has been sitting in that purse for years because I haven't carried this purse in a long time. I Like I said, I know I still even had it. So what I did, I counted out, took out quarters, okay? And this is, I think, 7 or $8 worth of quarters. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to count them. And we're going to add that to our change. Okay. So, if you're, this is a way to, uh, I'm creating these videos to encourage and motivate someone to start saving for emergencies. Now, this right now, I know it's $27 in here. That's not $1,000, which that's what our emergency funds should be. And we don't want to stop there because that will only cover emergency up to a thousand dollars. We want to keep saving three to six months of our expenses, but something like this can get you started. So this is twenty-seven dollars towards a one thousand dollar emergency fund, and this money is not for shopping. It is for emergencies. Okay, so let me go ahead and count this and show you all. Now, this money here, I'm not going to add it, but all of this was in that purse. Like I said, we have more money than we think. Okay. $25.50, $75. Hey, I'm missing a quarter. Let me make sure I got them. One. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Four. There we go. Okay. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, that's five quarters. Okay. okay. All right, so I don't know if you all can see. I hope you all can see this. Okay. So we're going to add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have eight dollars here. Okay. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars worth of quarters. Now, and like I said, I don't know how much this is. I didn't count all of this. But you see... We have more money than we think. And I'm going to go ahead and record this. 
Uh, okay. This is, today is September 8th, and this is, we call this our money jar savings challenge. And we added $8. And the total amount now is $35. So see how it's adding up over time. And like I said, this is just something just to encourage and motivate you to start saving if you're not, okay? And like I said, share this video because I'm coming, coming across a lot of people that are not saving for emergencies. In conversation, I'll maybe mention my YouTube channel and they, people always wanna know, what are you talking about on your YouTube channel? And when I tell them what I'm talking about, teaching people to save for emergencies and they go, wow, I'm not saving for emergencies. I don't have any money saved. And I'm coming across this. I know I wasn't doing it, but I know everybody else wasn't either. So, <laughs> you know, look, we don't realize how important this is until that time comes. Don't just go to work every day or make money and just spend it and just pay bills. Save, save for emergency, save for whatever you need, okay? And you'll be glad that you did. So, I hope this video is helpful. I hope something was said to help you and give you great value. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. You all have a safe, wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next video and happy savings.